Welcome to Sublime Automotive Channel. Today we are talking about the first car in history to hit 100 km per hour. The automotive industry has come a long way since the first automobile was invented. Cars have become faster, more efficient, and more technologically advanced than ever before. In this video, we will be discussing the first car in history to hit 100 km per hour. But before we start, like and subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Let's start! Camille Genetzi isn't a household name today, a shame really, as the Belgian race car driver is etched into the automotive record books as the first person to drive a car in excess of 100 km per hour, in the process setting a world land speed record. What's more, he did it in an electric car, one that he built himself. Today, 100 km per hour is merely scratching the surface of most cars' capabilities, but in 1899, those types of speeds were unthinkable, certainly from that newfangled invention, the automobile. But the advent of the motor car brought with it a new challenge, the pursuit of speed. And that chase for terminal velocity sparked the first great rivalry in automotive history. Enter Genetzi and his arch-rival, Count Gaston de Chasselablavac, who over the course of a four-month period between December 1898 and April 1899 waged all-out war in the pursuit of speed in a chairs, France. Frenchman de Chasselablavac got the ball rolling in December 1898 when, in response to a competition hosted by French car magazine La France Automobile, he completed a flying kilometer in his electric-powered Jean Todd in 57 seconds for an average speed of 63.13 km per hour, thus entering the record books as the first world land speed record holder in a car. It took less than a month for our Belgian hero, Genetzi, to respond, establishing a new mark of 66.66 km per hour in his electric GCA dog cart on 17 January. 1899 as his nemesis, de Chasselop that watched on. In a case of Hold My Cronenborg 1664, the de Chasselop Lovat was having none of it. Hopping behind the wheel of his Jean Todd and promptly clocking a speed of 70.31 km per hour. Advantage, de Chasselop Lovat. Janet C returned to a chairs just 10 days later, puckered up, and hurled his GCA dog cart to a VMAX of 80.35 km per hour. It took de Chasselop Labat several weeks to respond. Time he spent turning his Jean Todd into what passed for a rudimentary streamlined car designed to go faster than ever before. On 4 March, 1899, de Chasselop Labat was ready and in his new Jean Todd duck profile, set a new benchmark of 92.78 km per hour. Genetzi, undeterred, went to work on his purpose-built chariot of speed. Dubbed La Jamai content, the never satisfied. Genetzi's creation featured a torpedo-shaped body crafted out of partinium, a light alloy comprising aluminum, tungsten, and magnesium. It looked sleek and aerodynamic until Genetzi sat in it, that is, his exposed body doing much to negate any aero benefits. Two direct-drive Postel Venet electric motors mounted on the rear axle sent 50 kilowatt in total to the rear wheels. The wheels themselves featured another innovation, Perhaps drawing on his father's contacts, Constant Genetzi was a well-known rubber manufacturer and merchant. The younger Genetzi eschewed the solid rubberized wheels of previous attempts in favor of pneumatic tires. Those inflatable tires came courtesy of a couple of pioneering French brothers, Eduard and Andrew Michelin. La Jaman content was ready for its record-breaking attempt. Returning to a chairs on 29 April, 1899, and with officials from the Automobile Club de France on hand to scrutinize and sanction the Belgian's attempt, Genetzi piloted his creation to an almost unfathomable 105.88 km per hour, easily eclipsing his arch-rival's 92.78 km per hour of just six weeks earlier. It was a watershed moment, the first time in history a car of any kind had cracked the 100 km per hour mark. When asked how he felt driving at such unthinkable speeds, Genetzi replied, The car in which you travel seems to leave the ground and curl itself forward like a projectile ricocheting along the ground. As for the driver, the muscles of his body and neck become rigid in resisting the pressure of the air. His gaze is steadfastly fixed about 200 yards ahead. His senses are on the alert. It took almost three years for Genetzi's record to be broken. Frenchman Léon Serpollet recording 120.80 km per hour in a steam-powered car. 
His record stood for just a few months, eclipsed by American William K. Vanderbilt, who drove his moors to a top speed of 122.438 km per hour on 5 August 1902. Vanderbilt's remains a significant moment, the first time a car featuring an internal combustion engine had held the world land speed record. One can only wonder at what Genetsy would make of the current land speed record of 1223657 km per hour or of the fact that even the slowest, cheapest cars on the market, bar a few exceptions, can reach speeds of 100 km per hour or more. Genetsy always predicted he would die behind the wheel of a car, such was his love for motoring and the dangerous pursuit of speed. What he couldn't have predicted was his untimely death in 1913 in a hunting accident. Wanting to prank his friends and fellow hunters, Genency hid behind a bush and made wild animal noises. He was, it seems a little too good at imitating animals, his friend Alfred Madoux, shooting Genency, who died on the way to hospital from his injuries. It was an ignoble end for a man who on that one glorious spring day on the outskirts of Paris became the first person to break the 100 km per hour barrier in a car. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.